No, not them, not them on me level. I'm um, not even, I know how I do it. I just do it like Jordan or you, we know Shakira, Kobe, and no one can stop me. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Empress Lika. And today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to curl your locks using pipe cleaners. This will be my first time ever curling my locks, ever. I never curled them before because I just kind of felt like they were not long enough, but now that they're longer, I'm really excited to see how they're gonna turn out. So I'm gonna just be showing you guys how to do it really quickly. It's really easy. And then I'm just gonna kind of talk to you guys about a couple of things that I think you wanna know if you're going through this process as well. So the first thing you want to do is just make sure your hair is wet. I rinsed my hair with rice water because whenever I lock my hair, whenever I retwist my hair or whenever I'm touching up my locks, I always make sure I add rice water and castor oil or regular water and castor oil. So I already rinsed my hair with rice water and then I'm just going to be adding a little castor oil for the palm rolling and for the retwisting part. So after you prep your hair with the with wetting it, after you moisturize it, the next thing you want to do is prep your pipe cleaners. I feel like this is really essential, guys, because if this is a fresh pack of pipe cleaners that you are using like I did, you want to take the time to prep because if you don't, it's going to be really time consuming. Like this was an issue that I had a lot because I didn't take the time to just prepare them and so I will have to stop and then start again and then stop and retwist and start again. So in order to prep it, what you want to do is you want to take it and fold it in half. Okay, if you have about length that's my length or longer, I mean, sorry. <laughs> if you have this length or shorter, then you don't need much of a pipe cleaner. So you can just fold it in half, pinch the top like this and then just fold it. I mean, just twist it <laughs> and then just twist it like this twist it all the way to the bottom and then it should look something like this okay this part doesn't have to be perfect it doesn't have to be too big or too small this is about good if you have longer locks what you can do is instead of using it instead of folding it in half what you want to do is kind of fold it about one fourth so you probably like fold it about like this much you do the same thing you pinch it and then you just twist it like it's really simple guys just twist it there you go. So that way you have more pipe cleaner, like more room on a pipe cleaner if you have longer locks. So after you prep your pipe cleaners and after your hair is wet and moisturized, what you want to do is take your oil or whatever you're using to touch up your locks. And I would recommend palm rolling, especially since you're wetting your hair for this process. I just feel like whenever you wet your locks from about the root to right here, it gets really, really frizzy. And you don't want that when you curl them. So... The next thing I would recommend is palm rolling. But guys, let me tell you something. Let me just take a moment to talk to you guys about palm rolling. I get a lot of questions all the time about how I get my locks to look so neat and um, how I prevent like lumps and dents in my locks. And I just want to let you guys know palm rolling is the solution, okay? Palm rolling is the key. If you palm roll, it helps get out all those dents and locks. And it does take some time, but it gets them out. Also, palm rolling is really great for getting in that new growth, like nicely rolled into your lock. So take the time to palm roll. So I'm just going to palm roll. Do you palm roll, the next thing you want to do is take some more of your oil. And you want to go ahead and put it on the root and touch up the roots. Okay, the next thing you want to do is take your pipe cleaner and place it behind your lock. And you want to leave a little bit out of the tip of your lock out. So I'm going to leave about this much. And then you're just going to wrap it around. Okay? And wrap it around as much as you can. Like get every bit of tip on there as much as you can. Because that's going to help down the line when you start to roll when you start to roll it on. To roll the rest of the lock onto the pipe cleaner. So the next thing you want to do. And this part is really, um, this part is really important, guys. The next thing that you want to do is like slowly roll over. Roll on up. Okay, but you want to make sure that you're rolling over the tip that you just twisted on the pipe cleaner. Okay, so I just rolled it over that. So you take the time to make sure that you're really making it kind of secure, not too tight now, but you want to make sure that you're wrapping it over the tip correctly. And then once you get past the part that tip that you originally put on the pipe cleaner, you're just going to roll on up. Okay, and then once you roll up, you're going to take this part with the open circle, the little hook, and fold it in. And you're going to take the other side and fold it in as well. Okay, now if you have longer locks, and let's say, you know, uh, I don't know, maybe you have more pipe cleaner and this wasn't enough. The next thing that you can do is you can just um, 
again i'm going to show you guys real quick i'm putting it behind it i'm putting the pipe cleaner behind my lock i'm wrapping this part over okay and then i'm slowly going over the part that i just wrapped and then I'm just rolling on up. Now, if you have longer locks, let's say you get to about right here and you're filling up most of the pipe cleaner, what you can do is tuck this circle part in and then just scrunch it towards, like, gent be gentle because if you pull it too fast, it will slide right off. Just kind of gent gently, like, just be gentle and just push it towards that hoop part so that you create more room on your pipe cleaner so that you can twist the rest of your lock on there. But I don't need to do that because of the size of my lock, the length. I don't need to do that because of the length of my locks. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it one more time the regular way. Okay, I'm wrapping it around. And then I'm wrapping the rest of the lock over the tip that I just wrapped on first. And then I'm rolling up. And then I'm going to tuck in this side and I'm going to tuck in the other side. Okay, I'm, I'm also going to tuck this in and I'll explain later. So... So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to let these sit. Oh, before I go, I want to talk to you guys about two things. The first thing is that in order to let them dry, you can just let them air dry. Some people let them, you know, sit, they sleep with it overnight, or you can blow dry it. I personally um, let mine sit overnight because I've heard that it allows the curls to stay longer and they're more defined. And I definitely wanted that, so I let mine sit. A couple things that I think you should know as far as the pipe cleaners. The first thing that I think you should know is it's very time consuming and it can be a tedious process if you have a lot of locks. So if you don't want it to take so much time, what you can do is you can combine locks and then twist them up. Next thing I think you guys should look, look out for is whenever you're tucking in the pipe cleaners, especially the end part that's pointy, try to make sure that you're sticking it in in a way that it's not going to poke you because like I didn't pay attention to that and the back of my neck got cut up really bad from the pipe cleaners when I was sleeping and you know it, that's not really something that you want. So if you could like make sure you just take the time to tuck them in a little better so that you're not getting cut or it's not irritating you when you go to sleep. So I'm going to go ahead and take these out. Also, I'm going to be adding a picture at the end of this video to let you guys see a couple hairstyles that I'm going to be rocking with these curls. And I'm going to leave a link below with that video info so that you guys can check it out and see how I got those styles. So I'm going to go ahead and take these out and I'll be back. Thanks. Bye-bye. I wanted to come back and show you guys how to take them out. It's so easy. All you have to do is just unhook both sides and then the... And then the part that has a little circle, you can stick your finger in there and just literally slide it on out. So let me show you guys. Just like that. Okay, so this is the finished product. These curls are so pretty i love them so much um i'm probably gonna stretch them a bit because they are i don't like the shrinkage as much but i mean i'm just loving the curl pattern i'm probably gonna do so many cute hairstyles with this there's so many cute um hairstyles i can do with this i love I love, love, love these. I hope you guys really like this video. I hope you guys like these curls as much as I do. If you have any comments or any questions or anything that you want to ask, please leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. And um, follow me on Instagram at Empress Lika. Thank you. Bye bye. I swear I love it. $150 for a haircut. Remember being broken, I ain't have much. Fresh kicks, no whip.